Brad Lamb is an author, he's an educator, and he is Dr. Oz's interventionist. But before he was all of those things, he was a young gay man growing up in Portland, Oregon, with three straight brothers and a father who is a minister. He joins us from Los Angeles to give us his opinion on our America. Pray the gay away, question mark. Hello and welcome to you, Brad Lamb. Hey, Gail. Hi, Lisa. You know what they say, that the preacher's kids are the worst. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Should we brace ourselves for what's coming out next from you, Brad Lamb? No, no, no. But look, I I grew up in a really loving home that also believed that the worst thing you could be, the thing that would damn you to hell, was being gay. Mm -hmm. And so as I look back to growing up in that really loving household, it was a real disconnect. And when my folks invited me to go to Exodus about 104 years ago. Really, it was a long time ago. Mm. Uh, It was really hard on me, and I believe it was one of the root traumas that led to 20 years of addiction for me. So Mm -hmm. not only was it challenging to address being gay and really tough to come out of the closet, but I think it was really hard on me to try to get into Exodus and try to fix it. So your parents were not accepting? In the beginning? No, you know, it was it was super hard for them, Gail. It, they were one of those families that not only did they not get it, but they 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 didn't really want to get it, I think. Yeah. I think that the notion they'd grown up with was that a homosexual was the worst person that you'd want anybody in your family, in your school, in your church to be. So for them, the idea of gay was not good. It was something they didn't want around them, and they certainly didn't want in their family. What did you think when you watched... You know, and you, then, what did you think when you watched Lisa's but, special tonight? I know it's, well, it's a little I, tough look, with the I'm moved, <laughs> Go I'm, I'm, I'm moved that we are having a conversation like this, and it is certainly touching people's third rail because it really goes to our, our core beliefs of who we are and how we will love. And I think Christ calls us to love one another, to not judge one another, but to... Uh, I, my hope is that we have more grace than, uh, than, than, than maybe we, we wake up with in the morning and that that, that can mirror a, a, a better understanding of who people are. But Gail, you were at my wedding uh, mm. two and a half years ago when Scott I and I married and it was a wonderful celebration. And uh, in my father's own church, he was still active in ministry and there were people that left his church because they were so upset by the idea that their pastor would go to a gay wedding. Yeah, so it shows that your dad came around. Your dad came around.